Hi again, this is Matt, and this is the second video of my C++ beginners course slash guide. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a very basic C++ program and how to build it with CMake. Just as a side note, uh, this video is pretty much a compilation of two posts I previously wrote on my website. The first one being dissecting uh, the simplest C++ program, which talks about the, the very uh, simplest C++ program you can have and the second one being a simple introduction to CMake, where I talk about what CMake is and why we need it, okay? So let's get to it. So first of all, let's begin by creating a directory where we're gonna store all our source files, all our C++ code, and the CMake files that we need. In my case, I've got a folder on the desktop called coding, and inside there, I'm gonna create a folder called simple program, okay? Now the next step is to create the uh, simplest C++ source code. So source code or source file is simply a text file with C++ code in it. And to do that on Windows, you can use Notepad to do it. So if we open Notepad, we can write the following. And this is the simplest C++ program you can have. Uh, when saving it, you're gonna click on File, Save As, select the directory we just created, so the file is gonna go under the directory, coding simple program, and the file name is gonna be main.cpp, okay? And make sure you select all files if you're using Notepad so the file doesn't get saved as a text file, as, as a TXT file, okay? And once you've done that, you should be able to see main.cpp here, okay? Now, if you're on Linux, I would recommend just simply using the terminal and a program called Nano, and I'm gonna explain how to do that because I've, I've, I've actually got Linux running on my Windows machine. So if you're on Windows, if you're on Linux, uh, let me just open a Linux terminal. Again, you're gonna to navigate to the directory you just created, if you have created one. In my case, it's on desktop and simple, oops, CD coding and simple program, I believe. Okay, so now you can see that we're under this directory on the terminal. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open nano and, op and create a file called main.cpp. And Nano is gonna automatically save that file, it's gonna create that file on the directory you're in uh, once you save it, okay? So once you've done that, simply type the simplest program, which is this, and to exit it while saving is control X, type in Y for yes, and enter, okay? And that should have saved it on your Linux machine, it should have created a, a program called main.cpp as you can see here, okay? Because I'm actually running Linux on my Windows, it actually created the uh, same file inside my simple program directory, which is okay. I'm also assuming that if you're on Linux, you know how to use the terminal. Uh, if you've never used it before, uh, all you have to do to open the terminal is to open the search bar of your distribution. Uh, in the case of Ubuntu, you can press a button called search, I believe, and type in terminal, and that will uh, bring up the terminal for you. So you click on that program and a window like this will appear, okay? Now the next step is creating that very basic uh, CMake lists file that CMake needs in order to be able to tell your project structure and how to tell your system how to build it, okay? Uh, you could, again, use Notepad if you're on Windows, so it's the same thing as the uh, as creating the main.cpp file, but instead I'm gonna actually use my Linux uh, system and my Windows to do that with Nano because it has some syntax highlighting. So all I'm gonna do on Linux at least is open nano cmake lists.txt and this is the name of the file you want to create if you're on windows so you're going to type in uh, you're going to save the file as cmake lists.txt this time okay not cpp anymore with this is a different file type just a text file uh, once you've saved that on win well, on windows you should already uh, see it on your directory but because we're on nano it's only going to save it once we exit it okay and for this file, for this to work, you have to write uh, a few CMake lines which are required by CMake. And I'm just gonna write them out and explain to you guys after I write them out, okay? And this is the, the most basic CMake you can have for this type of project. The first line, CMake minimum required, tells CMake what minimum version of CMake the user needs to have in order to be able to compile your project. In our case, 3.10 is the minimum version you need to have. So if you have 3.9, for example, CMake will not let you proceed, okay? 
uh, the project line, project simple program, uh, tell CMake the configurations of your project. In our case, we're just simply telling CMake the name of our, pro of our project, which I named it simple program. You can name this whatever you want, as long as, as it's, you know, it's a reasonable name, I guess. It's a good name. Uh, the third line, or the fourth line in this case, because I've got a new line here, and perhaps the most important line is the line add executable, bra open brackets, simple program, space, main.cpp, close brackets. And this tells CMake that we want to generate an executable, in other words, an exe file if you're on Windows, uh, and that executable is going to be created from the source code or the source file main.cpp. Okay, once you've done that, you can save it, type in yes, and we should have CMake lists right here. So whether you're on Linux or Windows, you should have been able to, to create this structure here. Okay. So we're now ready to use CMake to build it. So just before we go into an IDE with this project, because you could now open uh, this with an IDE and it will build just fine. I'm going to teach you guys what happens under the hood when, when you open a CMake project with your IDE. Okay. And for this, I'm actually going to use my Windows PowerShell because I want it to generate, I want it, I want to compile a Windows executable, no, not a Linux executable, which is what would be created if I run it on my uh, Linux subsystem here. Okay, so if I navigate to that directory, what I could do now is ask CMake to build it from the command line. And in order to do that, you generally create a build directory for all the build files for all your executables and all your CMake cache files. You don't have to worry about what those are for now. Uh, so that's where CMake will put all of this. And to do that, we can just simply run make the, and then the, the name of the directory, build in my case. And make there has the effect, it just simply creates a directory under this directory here uh, on the left. And it's, as you can see here on the, on the actual Windows Explorer, it simply just created a directory called build. Okay. And what we can do now is we're going to navigate into that directory and ask CMake to configure my project to build all those cache files and save it inside the current directory. And to do that, uh, we simply type CMake dot dot here, as you can see. Um, gonna zoom in so you can see it better. And this will call CMake, uh, and you'll tell it to use the CMake lists file from the directory above. So not the build directory, but the CMake files inside simple program in our case. So once you see this message, build files have been written to blah, blah, blah. This means that CMake generated everything uh, without any errors. Now, if you've got any errors, please comment below the errors and we'll be able to figure those out. But you shouldn't really have any errors if you follow this 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 video uh, line by line, essentially, if you haven't really missed anything out. So what we can do now is we can tell CMake to build uh, our executables from these configuration files. Uh, just so you guys know what CMake actually created, if we go inside the build directory, you can see that it created all sorts of files here. And because my default compiler is my default, uh, build system is Visual Studio. It created Visual Studio uh, projects here that I can just open and build uh, to create my executables, okay? But it might be different depending on your system and depending on the, compiles you, the, on the compilers you're using and what build systems you have available for you. So to build it, we're simply gonna write CMake build dot. And this will tell CMake to build uh, whatever uh, cache files are inside the current directory, which is, in our case is the build directory and this is what the dot means okay uh, everything completed just fine so now uh, because i'm on windows i should be able to find my executable under debug and simple program.exe and this is the actual program that got generated from the command line build here with CMake. So I hope you guys understood what happens uh, when you open this project with an IDE, when you build the project with an IDE, it essentially does everything that we've done here. Uh, once you open the project, it will run CMake to configure the project and, the, and generate those cache files. And when building it, it's gonna run this command, CMake build uh, with uh, some other flags, input flags onto this command here, okay? So let's do just that right now. Let's let's actually delete the build folder because we don't really need it anymore as we're going to be running uh, on IDEs. And we don't really care about the, the terminal shells or the command lines anymore as well. Now let's open this project with Visual Studio and see what happens. As I said, uh, you should have in theory everything you need here to open this project with Visual Studio, okay? And what you got to do is once you open Visual Studio, you click on open local folder, select the directory, which in my case is simple program, it's already selected for me. And you can see that Visual Studio did its thing. Uh, if you wanna see that, if the CMake worked or not, you can simply click here on the output tab 
on the output section and click on CMake and you should see the exact same output or very similar to what we had previously when we when we ran CMake to configure on the command line. So that's that's what it did under the hood. So what you can do now uh, to run the program is you're going to have to select the target here, simple uh, program.exe, which comes from the CMake file, the CMake lists file, and we can simply run it. And you can see that it just ran successfully because it exited with code zero. It means it ran successfully and it simply uh, exited the program after that. So it built just fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's interesting as well because we can actually on the ID edit all the source file that we have, for example, the, uh, the int main and the CMake lists. Uh, we can do we can do it all on, on Visual Studio or C Lion if you're using C Lion. As a nice to have, if you guys want to say hello from your code, you can do this. And this will get your program to say hello world on the console and exit immediately. And if you run that again, you should be able to see the changes. I'm not going to explain too much what these things are here because uh, I'm going to get into them in the future. In this video, I just want to show you guys how to use IDEs uh, with, with CMake uh, to build a project. Okay. Now on C Lion, it's exactly the same thing. Once you open up C Lion, you're going to open uh, this simple program directory as we'll be able to see it here. Uh, it actually opened automatically for me. Uh, if you haven't actually opened C line uh, before, you're going to have to click on file, open, and you're going to navigate to the directory we just created. Open simple program and we're ready to go. And it should be the exact same thing as Visual Studio. They do very similar things. Uh, you can see that the project opened just fine. So if you click on the CMake tab, you should see again the configuration uh, CMake command here and to compile it simple simply select the simple program exe and run it and you should be able to see that it said hello world and the process finished with code zero meaning it was all successful and that is it for this video at least you know exactly what happens under the hood in the IDEs now uh, in terms of um, getting CMake to generate the uh, structure of your project for you and you can build your simple C++ program with an IDE now. If you have any questions, if you have got an error somewhere that you can't fix, please post it in the comments and I will make sure uh, that I can help you guys solve your issues. Okay. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.